Don't look at me like that. It doesn't mean anything. Is that on? I ran into Ewan McBay. He's like some obnoxious hipster now. I don't... He laid low for about a year after he did all of that to Kara. He was punished by the ethics advisory board and put on academic probation, but he wasn't kicked out. I don't know, he's running campaigns for some RPG group now. He's smarmy. I mean, he ignored me for months, and then he saw me at that party in that outfit, and he liked it. But if you remember, he was the one who rejected me and who left me at the ball. Nathan here made quite a face when I told him that I ran into Ewan, but between us, I kind of like it. See, John Broderick got back to me. He said that the lit mag already has my style, but if it would help me out, he would publish something that I write. The lit mag doesn't have any adventure stories, and I figure if Ewan is writing adventure stories for his RPG group, then he can write one for this. For me. So it's perfect. Ewan unwittingly supplies a plot line. I get a little retribution. I get a story published, and then I revisit on all of the places that have been passing on me. <sighs> Ewan is coming over. Don't look at me like that. It's not, it's not that. It's... I'm allowed to have fun. Still? Yeah. Um, different this time. It's for me. Yeah, I, uh, I know. I mean, I, I heard. I saw, actually. All right, let's not. Is it on? No. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. You know, you fought really dirty last year. You know, do you believe all that stuff? About Kara? No. Then why did you say it? To win. You would have done the same thing. <laughs> We're two sides, Alice. What is more important to you? It's your writing, isn't it? So do you want to learn about campaigning? Because I have my plot lines and... Maybe. Okay. Bye. Oh shit. You're gonna use all of that, aren't you? God. What the hell kind of battery are you using? I deleted some of that stuff you didn't need. Dracula doesn't have misgivings. I got what I needed. <laughs>